Hi everyone and welcome to our um, stream challenge for today and today we are going to be making pendulum art. So what is a pendulum? Well can you imagine swinging from side to side for hours even days or longer? That's what a pendulum is capable of. A basic one is like a, a rounded weight um, known as a bob and it's attached to a string, wire, or chain. And that string, wire, or chain is a suspended from a fixed pivot, which is the point that it does that does not move, um, but allows the pendulum to swing back and forth. A great example of this is on our playgrounds and we ride them on a regular basis. And that is a swing is a great example of a pendulum. So we're going to be building pendulums today and learning about what affects the movement of the pendulum and how we can use that to make some art. All right, so for this we need, Miss Heather has some piles of books is how she's going to build her base here. And then she's got one of her children's claws here as our top part which is going to be the frictionless pivot. Now for our bob I've got a pen that I'm going to swing back and forth. Now for it to make marks we're going to need to make it a little heavier so that it doesn't um, swing around so much and then we're going to attach it and get it set so it can draw. So I also took some tape and attached my string on here and part of that is because I want to reuse the string um, after I'm done. And you want to make sure that it sits up off the top here so that it's not going cattywampus back and forth and then you're going to measure it out and I'm going to tip my screen down here so you can see so that it's going to set on the paper. All right so wrap that around. I've got quite the pile of books as it should be as a librarian, right? All right so I've got it setting and now I'm not going to make it permanent until I get the cap off so I see how far I have to have that go. So one of the things you'll notice as you're setting yours up is you want to make sure that it's touching on there. If um, it's swinging back and forth it's making light designs because our pen is not all that heavy. So we need to think about what we can do to impact and get a better better imprint on there. And one of the things we can do is add weight. And I just happen to have Thomas the Tank engine car that I'm going to attach to this to give it a little more weight. Once you've got everything all set, um, I ended up going with a smaller engine for doing my, um, my uh, weight here. I've got my pen ready and you can either run it back and forth or you can start running circles and making art doing circles. Now depending on your length and weight of your pendulum will impact how often it swings back and forth. Now play around with um, different weights, different colors. If you want to be brave, I did this with markers, but there are people who do this with paint and paint is actually an easier way to see the pendulum movement. And the reason I didn't do paint today is because um, I don't want to make a complete mess of my my workspace that I have here at my home, but you can have paint out and um, create your own artwork. And here are some examples. I'll pop up some pictures here so you can see some examples of ones that were done with paint and with pens. Um, and some of them have been outdoors. I thought it'd be really cool if you were doing um, ch uh, chalk art where you have ground up chalk and you run it out. Um, that would be really cool where you use a cup instead of a marker on the end. Try that out. The other challenge is taking this out into the street um, to the playground, which if you're going to a playground, remember to be safe at our playgrounds. Um, be sure to practice social distancing, pre um, be prepared to um, use hand sanitizer afterwards, be safe, but try um, with maybe a family member seeing how um, 
like a really tall person who's much bigger than you might um, impact the movement of that pendulum of a swing than you or maybe a little sibling. And what do you notice about the period, that time that it takes to swing, um, that the swing is low to the ground compared, um, compared with different size people, grown-ups versus kids versus really little kids, um, maybe try to do an empty swing as well and see what that does. That is our STEAM challenge for today. We will be back next week with our next STEAM challenge, and I hope you have a wonderful week.